Yes? Happy, yes. Happy with that? Yeah. Alright, let's start. Okay. What do we start? Um, g'day everyone. It's Damo here, the Disco DJ King. And look who's with me. Yeah, and I'm John from Eight One Party. Listen, um, I put a video up a couple of days ago about a practice and enjoy event uh, which we're doing in Melbourne. And I've had a couple of people send me an email say, what's a practice and enjoy event? So Damo, tell them, what's a practice and enjoy event? Basically, a practice and enjoy event is, uh, if you have seen on YouTube, you would have seen Brian and Jonathan do this. We're going to do one in Melbourne. Uh, basically, all it is is for all DJs from around the Melbourne area, possibly even out there in Adelaide, to come along, uh, basically say hello, have a discussion about DJ-related topics, uh, have a look at some equipment, play with some music and get some great ideas. And basically, um, board your classes, networking sort of thing, and just having a yak and a few drinks. That's what it. Are you doing, well, that's, that's exactly what it is. It's basically going to be a get-together, a gathering of mobile DJs. Uh, now, you don't have to be a mobile DJ. I mean, any sort of DJ, if you want to come along, it's, a, it's an absolutely free event. You don't have to pay. That was one of the questions people were asking me. How much is it? You don't have to pay. It is absolutely free to get in. It is a licensed... You don't have to pay for money anyway. We have other ways of getting paid on something. Exactly. Uh, looks like your payments are bottles of Johnny Walker. Oh, yes. Yeah, everyone from uh, Johnny's watching, we need some sponsors, so come on, guys. We do need some sponsors. That reminds me. Well done, Damo. If any companies are out there watching, or if you know someone from a company that's got anything to do with DJ-related stuff, we would love some sponsorship. Uh, and we don't want a lot. Maybe, maybe some giveaways. You know, if you know someone that runs a DJ shop, um, and he's prepared to maybe give us some lights to give away and then we can do some advertising for him. Maybe you know someone that works in a shop that wants to set up a little display stand at this event and show off some of their gear. Yeah, there'd be enough, uh, enough room at this uh, venue for that sort of thing, yeah? This venue? John, you've seen, you've seen this place, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, I was there. Um, I'll put the link up in the description. It's called Spencer's Live. It's in the city. It's a it holds about 400 people. Uh, this venue. There's a massive stage in there. Um, I'm going to take all my gear. I'm going to take all my lasers. So I'll put on some sort of a laser display. Um, so, you have to bring my then, do you? You got a truckload of them. Yep. And like, I'm going to take my console. So like, the idea is if you've never tried Track to Scratch before, you're thinking about buying it. You can come along and I'll show you what Tractor Scratch does live. And if you're really good to me, I might let you have a play with it. And Tractor Scratch as well. And Damo's going to have his there. Damo uses PC DJ, so Damo will have his console there. And again, if you give him enough bottles of Johnny Walker, he may let you use it. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And it, oh, that's it. What? Yeah. Yeah, we have Skype. We're talking over each other. What was that? I was going to say, if any other DJs out there want to bring their console, I'll have a PA system there. All you've got to do is bring your console and you can plug into my PA system because we're not all going to be playing at once. When I finish playing, I'll just take the leads and plug them into your desk. So if you want to bring your own music along, your own LPs, your own CDs, even your hard drive, you can bring your hard drive along and yeah, plug it into my track to scratch and you can have a go with your music. Um, so if you want to bring your console, you're quite welcome to. Actually, we encourage that. Actually, let's just John pause for a sec. My phone's pretty ringing. Hang on. Go. <laughs> we'll cut that. <laughs> My turn. Do I need a haircut? Now, what were we up to? Hey, where's he gone? Well, I don't have uh, a wig. The best I can do is some big glasses. Uh, we'll just call you Brian. Now, <laughs> the other thing I wanted to say about this, um, uh, can you take me seriously with this wig? Bad luck. Um, is We're going to use this like a bit of a swap meet as well. Like if you've got any DJ stuff you want to sell, bring it along. 
we'll have some tables set up. You can put a price on it and you might sell it. I mean, you think about it, there's gonna be two to 400 DJs there. So somebody might want some of your old gear. Um, so if you're in the market for old gear, bring some cash, because there won't be credit card accepted. So bring some cash, you might find something really cheap. I know a bloke I've invited, he's gonna sell a heap of lights uh, no LED lights, but he's selling all these old halogen lights. Um, so he'll be there selling some lights. And yeah, anything, if you want to bring speakers along, anything you want to sell DJ related, bring it along. You never know. Oh, hell, this place is going to turn all the trash and treasure, isn't it? Yes. I'll certainly be taking, <laughs> yeah. certainly taking some lights. Um, they're not that old, but uh, I want to do a bit of a move along, so I'll be taking a couple myself. There you go, already. <laughs> John will be selling his body, so... Uh, yeah, I don't usually get much for that, though. Oh, you will with, uh, with your little hair, dude. Look at that, plucked straight out of the 80s. <laughs> I use it for my 80s parties, that's exactly what I use it for. Cool. What else? Not, uh, oh, if yeah. anyone else, if anyone wants to help, uh, it's a pretty big job, I've got to tell you, the two of us can't really do everything. So if anyone's out there that lives in Melbourne that wants to get involved, um, just send Damo or myself an email. Tell us what you can do. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. What am I trying to say? Uh, the word maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. You know, maybe. <laughs> maybe you're good with computers, and uh, we want to try and organise a um, a live hookup with uh, the UK and America. So maybe you're good with computers, and you can bring your laptop down. Uh, and uh, you know, organise that for us so we can hopefully talk to Jonathan and Brian on the night. They don't know about it yet, but I'll tell them soon, or they'll find yeah. out. As John would have already told you guys uh, about the whole special event, that, that is it. We're going to try to look up uh, these guys. More than likely, uh, Jonathan, because yeah, he wants to get involved with all this sort of stuff, so I'd say more than likely, Jonathan for sure. Um, yeah, and just I don't know, I was going to say something else, but I've completely forgotten. You may have mentioned it. Well. <laughs> have another drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for the guys in Melbourne, I just remembered something. Yeah. Um, uh, for the guys in Melbourne that uh, know Big Milan, LA Big Milan, Big Milan is a bit of a phenomenon in Melbourne. He's created the Melbourne Shuffle. So all those guys that are into shuffling, Big Milan is actually going to be there on the night He's going to do a DJ set for us, and he's also going to have uh, a little. Uh, he's going to do a little performance for us. He said you can't stop him from dancing. He dances wherever he goes, so he's going to do a little performance for us, and he may even do uh, do a couple of little dance lessons. So if you want to learn how to shuffle, the man himself, Big Milan, is going to be at practice and enjoy Melbourne. It's true. And John, John did say shuffle. Shuffle. Not, uh, sw not swinging. It's not a swinging party. Uh, that's yeah. yeah. That's next week. Yeah, I oh, heard it's the after party. Yeah, that's about. So, uh, I was just going to say uh, another thing. For those of you who are interested and do want to come along, if you like, I just uh, shoot me and John an email. Let us know if you're you're coming. Or we've got an idea about how many you're coming. Um, if there's any questions or anything you need to ask about the night? I think we've pretty much covered everything. But uh, feel free to ask. And yeah, just shoot us some uh, emails so we can see uh, who's interested and who wants to really turn up. Yeah, that'd be good. If we can get some sort of an idea on numbers, that would be good. Mm. Because um, we may have to organise security, uh, depending on how many people come, uh, that sort of stuff. So yeah, if we have some idea, that'd be good. Yeah, for you DJ, DJs out there, we shouldn't need security. We'd all we'd experience uh, doing parties. We would need security before so that, maybe. But not when we're going to need security. Yeah, right. Oh, it's a right. licensed venue. Did I say this? It's a licensed venue. Oh, so yes. you have to be over 18 to get in. If you're under 18, you have to be accompanied by a legal guardian. Right? So mum and dad has to come with you if you're under 18. Uh, so your mum and dad or legal guardian, not your brother or your cousin. It has to be your legal guardian. The bar will be open, so you can buy drinks there. I actually encourage that because this guy has given us this venue for free. He normally charges a thousand bucks to hire this venue, and he's given it to us for absolutely free. So 
Um, try and support this guy if you can. Buy some alcohol on the night. That'd be good. Don't worry, I'll be dipping in my two cents for that for sure. We all good. Alright. We've probably so we have, We've probably done our ten minutes. Yeah. Alright then. So well, I guess uh, that, that's it for this video. So practice and enjoy guys. Done. Done. I reckon that one over ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, you might uh, just edit some some of it out. Like the bloody phone ringing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there it is! <laughs> I was supposed to turn that off! Shit! Let it go.